My name is Emmanuel Lee Lambert <laughs> Jr. That's my biological name. I go by the truth, Ebonics, the truth. I wanted to ask you just because you're you're from Philadelphia and probably have a perspective on it was um, Meek Mill's situation recently with his song Amen and Pastor Jomo from Philadelphia had kind of called him out and they had a, a confrontation on the radio and Meek's kind of apologized for some of that in the pe um, since then but just to me it seems like kind of a bubbling up within mainstream hip hop of using Christian terms and that sort of thing so um, what if you follow that kind of what you might take away from that whole event and and encourage Christians on how to react in a, si a similar situation yeah like that. I'm, I think I'm the odd man out on this one because I didn't really see Pastor Jomo as having done anything extremely bad mm -hmm. you feel me like I think that we're blowing his approach out of proportion mm -hmm. um, I guess the dominant perspective is that you know he didn't approach him in love which I don't agree with that at all not the least bit um, and somebody would probably say, yeah, truth, because you don't approach people in love. <laughs> I can hear them now. <laughs> oh, man. But at any rate, that's not true, by the way. But uh, I might have, you know, from time to time. But mm -hmm. as a whole, that's not true. <laughs> um, but my, my deal is, do I think that um, Pastor Jomo could have handled it differently? Yes, but in this sense. I think he could have dealt with, I think he could... I think he should have tried to reason more. I think that what he did was he's sort of, uh, my, my issue was probably more philosophical than it is, you know, judging his motive and, and intent because I mm -hmm. think that's dangerous. Um, and, and I guess that I feel like he could have reasoned with him a little more. Now, truthfully, Meek Mills didn't let him get a word in edgewise. Yeah. <laughs> so that would have that been very difficult hard, as yeah. well, you know. Um, so I'm sort of torn even on that, mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? Because had he been given the opportunity to reason, maybe would have, we would have heard a little more reasoning rather yeah, than just package statements. Where was yeah. I? Where are you? Where were you? Where were you? I was out on yeah. the corner or whatever. So, yeah. yeah, it's like he kept talking over yeah. him and tried to tell him he tried to say something. Yeah. But I believe what he says. I, I mm -hmm. believe that when Pastor Jomo um, said that he loved him, I believe that. I believe that... Um, the, I believe that the thing that I liked about Pastor Jomo, even though I wasn't a fan of um, the fact that he didn't necessarily tr get a chance to reason with Meek Mill, so it was just sort of like Jesus loves you and died for you. To me, that's mm. I don't I personally don't I'm I'm personally not a fan of just that kind of approach because um, the Bible says come let us reason together, and I think there's certain people that you just have to sit and like have conversations with discussions sort of get their history you know mm -hmm. you know just to, to sort of um, you know relational relationship is probably more important with a meek mills than just somebody throwing out you know you know cliche-ish you know from their perspective statements mm -hmm. you know christian you know ease you know yeah and so but um i do like the fact that pastor joe mo stood for something mm -hmm. <laughs> like come on man you know they we don't if we don't you know they look at the feminine men in the church and they look at the men in the church who you know shrink back and compromise and they call the church weak yeah you look at the men that are standing for something and you call them judgmental now which one do y'all want mm -hmm. <laughs> if a muslim stands then it's honorable yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's real strength if a, if a, if a christian strength stands we're being judgmental and critical if and, and mm -hmm. hypocritical <laughs> you yeah. know what i'm saying and so uh, my deal is, you know, I, I think in this age, you know, where you got to, to me, that the church has got to stand up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? We do have to be unabashed. We do have to be unashamed. We do have to hold up the Christian banner. And we do have to stand firm on our convictions. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? This is an era where, you know, from everything from homosexuality to, you know, um, you know, to to Columbine and you know Batman Rise of the <laughs> Rise yeah. of, the, of the Dark Night sh shootings mm -hmm. is ha are happening. You feel me? If there's no other time in history where Christians have to be firm and stand, it's now. Did he do it all right? I can't answer that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the personally that I like how it ended up, not necessarily. Do I think there's probably a better approach from Meek Mills? Probably so. But at the end of the day, I'm proud of the fact that he stood mm -hmm. and he stood on the air and he stood 
you know, <laughs> you know, uh, regardless of what the feedback might be. You feel me? Yeah. And I like what he said. Mm -hmm. How many people you got such and such? Jesus approves me. Like I'm not. It don't matter yeah. how many people. You know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like to me, I like that. I yeah. was like, that's that's what we believe. Yeah. And so that's sort of where I'm at with it. As far as the secular world, you know, God forgives, I don't. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked about this a little bit tonight in my show. Um, well, um, God forgives and I don't. You know, church, you know, preach, amen. Yeah. You know, Jay and Kanye on, you know, watch the throne. Mm -hmm. You know, the, my flow is the Holy Ghost and all that stuff. You know, I, I do think the Bible says this in Ephesians too. First of all, I don't think it's, I don't think it's conspiracy theory. That's just me personally. I don't believe in a conspiracy theory. Um, I don't think it's necessarily the masonry or anything like that. Could mm -hmm. be. I really don't care. But what I do believe is Ephesians 2 says that the spirit of Satan has been and is at work in the sons of disobedience. <laughs> and this is, as, this is what it has been since the beginning of time. He is at work. And the same way that the Bible says that Christ is at work in us to will and to do his good pleasure, the Bible says the same is true of Satan for those that are in the world. He is working in them to will and to do his good pleasure. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that those who are not in Christ are enslaved and captive to the will of Satan. You feel me? And so uh, what I believe is that this is an era where obviously Satan can use one of the most powerful tools in the world to confuse people, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. about what's, what's what, you know, um, about true spirituality, about true Christianity, about the authentic Christ. I think, you know, the Da Vinci Code did it for, you know, confused people that were, you know, not in the urban world, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, to me that confused people, but people that, you know, stand, you know, that are, um, you know, you know, not necessarily a part of part of pop culture. Yeah. Uh, you, you feel me? Um, uh, but I think that hip hop has a different kind of influence. You know, and uh, it, it targets a different audience. And I saw. Mm -hmm. I think that the same the same thing that Satan was do, did with the Da Vinci Code and tried to do with angels and demons and all you know all that conspiracy theory stuff and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Like, I think he's doing the same uh, with hip hop and seeking to confuse the generation. You know, and and to devalue that to me is one of the biggest things that Satan is doing through this music. He's diva. The Holy Spirit is the, the Bible says that the that the that it that um uh, and there's an Acts five when they drop dead. You know what I'm saying? Um, who's, uh, who's the two people? Ananias yeah, and, Ananias uh, fire. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that they drop that they drop dead. Like the the Holy Spirit is no joke. Mm -hmm. But if I could say my flow is the Holy Ghost, I can I can discount the the power. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? The might, the power, and the authority of the Holy Spirit. You know, and so you know, God forgives. I don't. To me, that kind of stuff. You know, just sort of like that affirms and charges what people naturally feel, even mm -hmm. Christians. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. And so, you know, I think, you know, this is why I'm not mad at Pastor Jomo. Because mm -hmm. this is, we as the people of God, if at no other point in history, really have to stand during this time in light of all of these things. Yeah, cool. Well, I wanted to also just have you say briefly, kind of talk about your next project. I know you're working on oh, an yeah. album and <laughs> recording some stuff. So yeah, love, hope, and war, and um, real excited about it. It's a, it's, a, it's every record I say this, but it is different. <laughs> <laughs> but my records are different, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit different, but this one, this time, it's different because it's different for me. It won't be different for the listener. Yeah. Um, I'm doing uh, a little bit more of the mainstream uh, kind of sound. Um, you know, I, if anybody know, has followed my track record, I pretty much have been the type to sort of be very musical on my records. I wish this record will still have those musical elements, but it'd be the musical elements combined with some of the mainstream uh, sound, which has mm -hmm. actually been a blast for me. Yeah. <laughs> Not blast for me. It's been a blast yes. for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been having a lot of fun. Love, Hope, and War is in stores um, January 29th. Really special album. I'm not even gonna tell y'all what it's about. Y'all get that and all the teasers and trailers yeah. and singles and all of that. But get ready for it, January 29th. Love, hope, and war. Cool.